It's easy to change your background when you're on Zoom, to blur it, or to set it to an image that you choose. You can even use one of your own photos. I'm Marcia Chadley from the Creative Life Center, and I enjoy helping you learn how to use Zoom and other tools to feel comfortable connecting online. Today's easy Zoom tutorial guides you through changing your Zoom background to blur it or to choose a virtual background, one of the images Zoom offers or one of your own photos. We're gonna start by looking at how to change the background when you're using Zoom on your computer. And then we're also gonna show you how to change the background if you're using Zoom on your phone. I'm in a Zoom meeting on my computer and I wanna change the background. So I open the menu by the video camera. I choose virtual background. And now a dialog opens that lets me pick what I want to have in my background. If I have none, you can see this blue line here, it's just normal. If I choose blur, it's gonna blur everything. Look and see what I look like now. Now if I move around, you'll see Zoom sometimes takes a little bit to figure out exactly what's me and what's behind me so it knows what to blur, but it does a pretty good job. Now if I open that up again and choose one of the pictures that Zoom has to offer, you can see what that looks like. You get a little preview window here or you can close this dialog and see it full on. You can also choose your own image or your own video. So I'm going to choose this one. There, let's see this. So here's a picture I had from Unsplash. So that's the way that you can change your background on Zoom. You open up that menu, choose virtual background, make one of these choices, bring in your own picture, or go back to none. Now I'm in a Zoom meeting on my phone and I want to change the background. I touch my phone to get the controls up, use more to find background and filters. And now I have really similar choices. I can have none, I can have blur, I can have pictures that Zoom offers me. I can bring my own in. So let's try blur. You can see what that looks like. You can try that same grass. There's the grass. I can upload a picture from my phone. Say this one of a lake. And now I have a lake. Super easy and gives you another option when you're using Zoom from your phone. It is really easy to change your background when you're in a Zoom meeting. There's a couple of things to think about, especially if you're the host, you're presenting, maybe you're giving a workshop or a webinar or other event. One of the things you wanna think about is, what does this background do in terms of focus? Where are, they, where are people looking? Are they looking at the background image and trying to decide where you got it and what it is and what city it's taken in? Or are they looking at you and paying attention to what you're trying to say? It also takes more power for Zoom to be able to work with a virtual background or even a blurred background than it does with no background, just with whatever's behind you. So if you're having connection problems with Zoom, you know, either because of your computer or your Wi-Fi, you don't want to use a virtual background or even blur your background. There are times when it's really useful to use a blurred or a virtual background. When you have something, uh, you're in a private space and you don't want people to see some of the things behind you or other people around you. Maybe other people around you because you're in a public space and you don't want people to see that. So this is a handy feature to know how to use and to pick and choose the times to use it. It can be really fun. So have fun with it.